The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans And whoso among you is devoutly dutiful to God and his messenger and works righteousness, to her will we give her reward twice over, and we have prepared for her a noble provision. O wives of the Prophet, you are not like any among women. If you be in prudent fear, then be not soft in speech, lest he in whose heart is disease should hope. But speak a fitting word, and stay within your households, and make not a display of yourselves with the display of the former time of ignorance, and uphold the duty, and give the purity, and obey God and his messenger. God but intends to remove abomination from you, people of the household, and to purify you completely. And remember what is recited within your households of the proofs of God and of wisdom. God is subtle, aware. The submitted men and the submitted women, and the believing men and the believing women, and the devoutly dutiful men, and the devoutly dutiful women, and the truthful men, and the truthful women, and the patient men, and the patient women, and the humble men, and the humble women, and the men who give charity, and the women who give charity, and the men who fast, and the women who fast, and the men who are custodians of their modesty, and the women who are custodians, and the men who remember God much, and the women who remember. God has prepared for them forgiveness and a tremendous reward. And it is not for a believing man or a believing woman when God and his messenger have decided on a command that there be better for them by their command. And whoso disobeys God and his messenger, he has gone astray in obvious error. And when thou saidst to him, Upon whom God has had favour, and upon whom thou hast had favour, hold thou thy wife to thee, and be thou in prudent fear of God, and didst hide in thyself what God reveals, ellipsis, thou hadst gone astray in obvious error. To continue. And thou fearedst men when God has more right that thou shouldst fear him. Then when Zaid had concluded any need of her, we gave her to thee in marriage, that there be not blame upon the believers concerning the wives of their adopted sons, when they have concluded any need of them. And the command of God is carried out. There is no distress upon the prophet concerning what God ordained for him, the practice of God among those who came and went before, and the command of God is a destiny decreed. Those who conveyed the messages of God and feared him, and feared not anyone save God, ellipsis, has not changed, to continue. And sufficient was God as a reckoner. Muhammad is not the father of any one of your men, but the messenger of God and the seal of the prophets, and God is knowing of all things. O oh, you who heed warning, remember God with much remembrance, and give glory to him morning and evening. He it is who performs the duty befitting you, as do his angels, that he might bring you forth from darkness into light, and he is merciful to the believers. Their greeting the day they meet him is peace, and he has prepared for them a noble reward. O prophet, we have sent thee as a witness and a bringer of glad tidings and a warner, and as a caller to God by his leave, and as an illuminating torch. And give thou glad tidings to the believers, that they have from God great bounty. And obey thou not those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, and the waverers, and disregard thou their hindrances, and place thou thy trust in God 
and God is sufficient as guardian. O you who heed warning, when you marry believing women and divorce them before you have touched them, there is no number for you that you should count concerning them. But give them provision and release them with a comely release. O prophet, we have made lawful to thee thy wives to whom thou hast given their rewards, and those whom thy right hand possesses of what God has bestowed upon thee, and the daughters of thy paternal uncles, and the daughters of thy paternal aunts, and the daughters of thy maternal uncles, and the daughters of thy maternal aunts, who emigrated with thee, and is a believing woman, if she give herself to the prophet, if the prophet desire to marry her, exclusively for thee and not the believers. We know what we enjoined upon them concerning their wives and those whom their right hands possess, that thou be free from distress. And God is forgiving, merciful. Thou deferrest whom thou wilt of them, and takest to thee whom thou wilt, and whom thou desirest of those thou hast set aside, and thou dost no wrong. That tends to the delight of their eyes, and that they grieve not, and that they be pleased with what thou givest them. And God knows what is in your hearts, and God is forgiving, forbearing. Not lawful for thee are women thereafter, nor that thou exchange them for any wives, though their beauty impress thee, save what thy right hand possesses. And God is watchful over all things. O you who heed warning, enter not the households of the prophet for a meal without waiting for its time, save that leave be given to you. But when you are called, enter, and when you have eaten, disperse, and seek not familiarity through storytelling, that hinders the prophet, and he is shy of you. But God is not shy of the truth. And when you ask of his wives any item, ask it of them from behind a partition, that is purer for your hearts and their hearts and it is not for you to hinder the messenger of God or to marry his wives after him ever. That were tremendous in the sight of God. If you reveal a thing or keep it secret, God is knowing of all things. They do no wrong concerning their fathers or their sons or their brothers or the sons of their brothers or the sons of their sisters or their women, or what their right hands possess, when they are in prudent fear of God. God is witness over all things. God and his angels perform the duty befitting the prophet. O you who heed warning, perform the duty befitting him and greet with a salutation. Those who hinder God and his messenger, God has cursed them in this world and the hereafter, and has prepared for them a humiliating punishment. And those who hinder the believing men and the believing women with what they have not earned, they bear a calumny and obvious falsehood. O prophet, say thou to thy wives and thy daughters and the women of the believers to draw down over them some of their garments. That will tend to them being recognized and not hindered. And God is forgiving, merciful. If the waverers desist not, and those in whose heart is disease and the spreaders of lies in the town, we will impel thee against them, then will they not be your neighbours therein, save a little. One's cursed. Wherever they lose the ascendancy, taken and comprehensively killed. The practice of God among those who came and went before, ellipsis, has not changed to continue.
and thou wilt not find for the practice of God any replacement. The people ask thee about the hour. Say thou, the knowledge thereof is but with God, and what can make thee know but that the hour may be nigh? God has cursed those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, and has prepared for them an inferno, they abiding eternally therein for ever. They will find no ally or helper the day their faces are tossed about in the fire. They will say, Would that we had obeyed God and obeyed the messenger. And they will say, Our Lord, we obeyed our masters and our great men, and they led us astray in the way. Our Lord, give thou them double punishment, and curse thou them with a great curse. O you who heed warning, be not as those who hindered Musa. God absolved him of what they said, and he is esteemed in the sight of God. O you who heed warning, be in prudent fear of God, and speak an apposite word. He will make right your works for you, and forgive you your transgressions. And whoso obeys God and his messenger, he has attained a tremendous achievement. We presented the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, and they refused to bear it and were afraid of it. But man bore it. He is unjust, ignorant that God might punish the wavering men and the wavering women and the idolaters and the idolatresses. But God turns towards the believing men and the believing women. And God is forgiving, merciful. Chapter 34 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Praise belongs to God, to whom belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and the praise is his in the hereafter, and he is the wise, the aware. He knows what goes into the earth and what comes forth from it, and what descends from the sky and what ascends into it, and he is the merciful, the forgiving. And those who are indifferent to warning say, The hour will not come to us. Say thou, Verily, by my Lord it is coming to you, the knower of the unseen. Not absent from him is the weight of an atom in the heavens or in the earth, or what is less than that or greater than that, save is in a clear decree, that he might reward those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness. They have pardon and a noble provision. And those who strive to undermine our proofs, they have the punishment of a painful scourge. And those who have been given knowledge, see that what is sent down to thee from thy Lord is the truth, and guides to the path of the mighty, the praiseworthy. And those who are indifferent to warning say, Shall we show you a man who informs you that when you are scattered to the four winds, you will be in a new creation? He has invented a lie about God. If he be possessed, the truth is, those who believe not in the hereafter are in punishment and extreme error. Have they not considered what is at their time, and what following them of the sky and the earth? If we will, we can make the earth swallow them, or cause pieces of the sky to fall upon them. In that is a proof for every repentant servant. And we gave Dawood bounty from us, O oh, you mountains, return nightly with it, as do the birds. And we softened the iron for him. Do thou abundant good works, and decree thou their continuance, and work righteousness. I see what you do. 
and to Suleiman the wind, its morning course a moon, and its evening course a moon, and we made flow for him a spring of molten brass. And among the jinn worked those under his authority by the leave of his lord. And who among them deviated from our command, we will make him taste of the punishment of the inferno. They made for him what he willed of sanctuaries and statues and basins like pools and vessels firmly fixed. Work in gratitude, house of Dawood, and few are the grateful among my servants. And when we decreed death for him, there showed his death to them only a creature of the earth eating at his stick. And when he fell down, it became clear to the jinn that had they but known the unseen, they would not have tarried in the humiliating punishment. There was a proof for Saba in their dwelling place, two gardens, on the right hand and on the left. Eat of the provision of your Lord and be grateful to him, a good land and a forgiving Lord. Then they turned away, so we sent upon them the flooding of the dam, and gave them in exchange for their two gardens, two gardens bearing bitter fruit and tamarisk, and something of sparse loat trees. That we rewarded them because they denied, and punish we save the ingrate, and we made between them and the cities we had blessed cities visible, and determined the journey between them. Travel among them by night and day in safety. But they said, Long has our Lord made the distance between our journey stages, and they wronged their souls. Then we made them tales told and scattered them to the four winds. In that are proofs for everyone patient, grateful. And Iblis was right in his assumption about them. They followed him, save some among the believers. And he had no warrant against them, save that we should know him who believes in the hereafter from him who is in doubt thereof. And thy Lord is custodian over all things. Say thou, call to those whom you claim besides God, they possess not the weight of an atom in the heavens or in the earth, and they have not in them any partnership, and he has not any helper from among them. And no intercession avails with him save him whom he gives leave. When terror has been lifted from their hearts, they will say, what said your Lord? They will say, The truth. And he is the exalted, the great. Say thou, Who gives you provision from the sky and the earth? Say thou, God. And either we or you are upon guidance or in obvious error. Say thou, you will not be asked about what we committed, nor will we be asked about what you do. Say thou, our Lord will bring us all together. Then will he decide between us aright, and he is the knowing judge. Say thou, show me those whom you have joined with him as partners. No, Indeed, the truth is, he is God, the mighty, the wise. And we sent thee only as a bearer of glad tidings and a warner to mankind, but most men know not. And they say, When is this promise if you be truthful? Say thou, you have the promise of a day, you cannot defer an hour, nor can you advance. And those who are indifferent to warning say, we neither believe in this Qur'an, nor in what is within its scope. 
But if thou couldst see when the wrongdoers are brought before their Lord, refuting each other's word, those who were despised will say to those who were proud, Had it not been for you, we would have believed. Those who were proud will say to those who were despised, Did we divert you from the guidance after it came to you? The truth is, you were evil doers. And those who were despised will say to those who were proud, The truth is, it was your scheme, night and day, when you commanded us to deny God and make equals to him. And they will whisper remorse when they see the punishment, and we place yokes on the necks of those who are indifferent to warning. Are they rewarded save for what they did? And we sent not to a city any warner, save its opulent ones said, We are deniers of that wherewith you have been sent. And they said, We are greater in wealth than children, and we are not to be punished. Say thou, My Lord expands and straightens provision for whom he wills, but most men know not. And neither your wealth nor your children bring you near to us in proximity. Only whoso believes and works righteousness, they have the double reward for what they did, and they will be in the high places secure. And those who strive to undermine our proofs, they will be summoned to the punishment. Say thou, my Lord expands provision for whom he wills of his servants, and he straightens for him. And what you have spent of anything, he will replace it, and he is the best of providers. And the day he gathers them all together, he will say to the angels, Did these serve you? They will say, Glory be unto thee, thou art our ally, not them. The truth is, they served the jinn. Most of them believe in them. And that day will you possess for one another neither benefit nor harm. And we will say to those who did wrong, Taste the punishment of the fire which you repudiated. And when our clear proofs are recited to them, they say, This is only a man who would divert you from what your fathers served. And they say, this is only an invented lie. And those who are indifferent to warning say of the truth when it reaches them, this is only obvious sorcery. And we gave them not any decrees which they study, and we sent not to them before thee any warner. And those before them rejected, and they attained not to one-tenth of what we gave them, but they rejected my messengers. And how was my rejection? Say thou, I but exhort you to one thing, that you arise for God in twos and alone, then reflect. There is in your companion no madness. He is only a warner to you at the time of severe punishment. Say thou, what I might have asked of you of reward, it is yours. My reward is only upon God, and he is witness over all things. Say thou, my Lord, the knower of the unseen realms, hurls the truth. Say thou, the truth has come, and vanity originates not, and it repeats not. Say thou, if I go astray, I but go astray against my soul, and if I be rightly guided, it is because of that which my Lord has instructed me. He is hearer, near. And if thou couldst see when they are terrified, there is no escape, and they are seized from a near place, and they will say, We believe in it. But how will there be attaining for them from a far place when they denied it before? And they slander the unseen from a far place. And a barrier will be set between them and what they desire, 
as was done with their sects before, they were in sceptical doubt. Chapter 35 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Praise belongs to God, the originator of the heavens and the earth, a pointer of the angels, messengers possessing wings, two and three and four. He increases in creation what he wills. God is powerful over all things. What God decides for men of mercy, none can withhold it, and what he withholds, there is no sender of it after him, and he is the mighty, the wise. O mankind, remember the grace of God towards you. Is there any creator other than God, providing for you from the sky and the earth? There is no God, save he. How then are you deluded? And if they reject thee, messengers were rejected before thee, and unto God are matters referred. O mankind, the promise of God is true, so let not the life of this world deceive you, and let not the deceiver deceive you about God. The shaitan is an enemy to you, so take him as an enemy. He but calls his party that they might be among the companions of the inferno. Those who are indifferent to warning, they have a severe punishment. And those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they have forgiveness and a great reward. Is then he to whom the evil of his deeds is made fair to him, so he sees it as good? Ellipsis like one who sees things as they are, to continue. And God leads astray whom he wills, and guides whom he wills. So let not thy soul go out to them in regrets. God knows what they do. And God is he who sends the winds so that they stir up a cloud, and we drive it to a dead land, and give life thereby to the earth after its death. Thus is the resurrection. Whoso desires greatness, greatness belongs to God altogether. Unto him the good word ascends, and the righteous deed raises it. But those who plot evil, they have a severe punishment. And the scheme of these, it will perish. And God created you from dust, then from a drop of fluid. Then made he you pairs, and no female bears or gives birth save with his knowledge. And life is not prolonged for one full of years, nor is reduction made of his age save in a decree. That is easy for God. And the two seas are not alike, one sweet, palatable, delicious to drink, and the other salty, bitter. And from each you eat succulent flesh, and extract ornaments which you wear. And thou seest the ships ploughing therein, that you might seek of his bounty, and that you might be grateful. He makes the night enter into the day, and makes the day enter into the night, and he made serviceable the sun and the moon, each running for a named term. That is God, your Lord, to him belongs the dominion. And those you call besides him possess not the membrane of a date stone. If you call to them, they will not hear your call. And were they to hear, they would not respond to you. And on the day of resurrection, they will deny your ascribing of partnership. And none can inform thee like one aware. O mankind, you are in need of God. And God, he is the free from need, the praiseworthy. If he wills, he will remove you and bring a new creation, and this is not difficult for God. Nor does there bear any bearer the burden of another. And if one heavy laden should invite to his burden, nothing will be lifted from him, though he be a relative. 
Thou but warnest those who fear their Lord in the unseen and uphold the duty. And he who purifies himself, he but purifies himself for his soul. And unto God is the journey's end. And not equal are the blind and the seeing, nor the darkness, ellipsis, and the light, to continue. Nor the light, ellipsis, and the darkness, to continue. Nor the shadow, ellipsis, and the heat of day, to continue. Nor the heat of day, ellipsis, and the shadow, to continue. And not equal are the living, ellipsis, and the dead, to continue. Or the dead, ellipsis, and the living, to continue. God makes here whom he wills, and thou canst not make here those who are in the graves. Thou art only a warner. We sent thee with the truth, as a bearer of glad tidings, and as a warner. And there is no community, save a warner came and went among it. And if they reject thee, those before them rejected. Their messengers came to them with clear evidence, and with the written records, and the illuminating law. Then seized I those who were indifferent to warning. And how was my rejection? Hast thou not considered that God sends down water from the sky, and we bring forth therewith fruit differing in its hues, and among the mountains are streaks white and red differing in their hues, and deep black, and among men and beasts and cattle differing in their hues. Thus there but fear God, the knowledgeable among his servants. God is mighty, forgiving. Those who recite the law of God and uphold the duty and spend of what we have provided them secretly and openly expect a trade that perishes not, that he will pay their rewards in full and increase them out of his bounty. Ellipsis. Such are the knowledgeable among his servants. To continue, he is forgiving, appreciative. And that which we instruct thee of the law, it is the truth, confirming what is within its scope. God is of his servants, seeing, aware. Then gave we the law as an inheritance to those whom we have chosen among our servants. Among them is he who wrongs his soul, and among them are those lukewarm, and among them are the front-runners in good deeds by God's leave. That is the great favour. Gardens of perpetual abode. They enter them adorned therein with bracelets of gold and pearls, and their raiment therein is silk. And they will say, Praise belongs to God who has removed grief from us. Our Lord is forgiving, appreciative who has settled us in the enduring abode of his bounty. Fatigue does not touch us herein, and nor does weariness touch us herein. And those who are indifferent to warning, they have the fire of hell. No end is there for them that they might die, and nor is any of their punishment lightened for them. Thus reward we every ingrate, and they wail therein, Our Lord, take thou us out. We will work righteousness, not what we did. Did we not give you life, that there take heed therein, whoso should take heed? And the warner came to you, so taste. And the wrongdoers have no helper. God is the knower of the unseen, of the heavens and the earth. He knows what is in the breasts. He it is who made you successors in the earth, and whoso denies, his denial is upon him, and the denial of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue increases them not in the sight of their Lord, save in abomination. 
and the denial of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue increases them not, save in loss. Say thou, have you considered your partners to whom you call instead of God? Show me what they created of the earth. If they have a partnership in the heavens, or if we have given them a decree, then are they upon clear evidence thereof. The truth is, the wrongdoers promise one another only deception. God holds the heavens and the earth lest they cease, and if they should cease, no one could hold them besides him. He is forbearing, forgiving. And they swore by God their strongest oaths that if a warner came to them, they would be better guided than any of the communities. Then when a warner came to them, it increased them only in aversion, being proud in the land and scheming evil. And the evil scheme surrounds none save its authors. So await they save the practice of the former peoples. And thou wilt not find in the practice of God any change, and nor wilt thou find to the practice of God any alteration. Have they not travelled in the land and seen how was the final outcome of those who were before them? And they were stronger than them in power. And God is not such that anything in the heavens or in the earth should escape him. He is knowing, powerful. And were God to take mankind to task for what they earn, he would not leave a living creature upon its surface. But he delays them to a named term. Then when their term comes, God is beholder of his servants. Chapter 36 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Ya Sin By the wise Qur'an, thou art among the emissaries upon a straight path. A successive revelation of the mighty, the merciful, that thou warn a people whose fathers were not warned. Ellipsis, hast thou received? To continue, then are they heedless. Binding is become the word upon most of them, for they do not believe. We will place yokes on their necks, and these up to the chins, and they with heads forced high. And we will make a barrier before them, and a barrier behind them, and cover them so that they see not. And it is the same to them, whether thou warnest them, or thou hast not warned them, they do not believe. Thou but warnest him who follows the remembrance and fears the Almighty in the unseen. To him bear thou glad tidings of forgiveness and a noble reward. We give life to the dead, and we record what they send ahead and they leave behind, and everything have we counted in a clear guiding book. And present thou to them an example the people of the city, when the emissaries came to them. When we sent to them two, and they rejected them, then we reinforced with a third, and they said, We are emissaries to you. Said they, You are only mortals like us, and the Almighty has not sent down anything. You only lie. They said, our Lord knows that we are emissaries to you, and upon us is only the clear communication. Said they, We see an omen in you. If you cease not, we will stone you, and there will touch you from us a painful punishment. They said, Your omen is with yourselves. Is it that you are reminded? The truth is, you are a people committing excess. And a man came running from the farthest part of the town. He said, O oh, my people, follow the emissaries, follow those who ask of you no reward, and are rightly guided. And why should I not serve him who made me, and to whom you will be returned? Shall I take gods besides him? If the Almighty intends me harm, their intercession will avail me nothing, nor can they rescue me. 
then should I be in obvious error. I believe in your Lord, so hear me. It was said, Enter thou the garden. He said, I would that my people knew of how my Lord has pardoned me and placed me among the honoured.